The study finds a lot of people don't just use the self-checkout line to buy groceries faster. Many do it to avoid getting judged for what's actually in their carts. Matt King talked to shoppers to see if they're guilty of trying to hide some of their purchases. Welcome. Please scan your first item. The inventor of the first self-checkout terminal installed it in a New York City grocery store in 1992. Four, Nearly three decades later, we now find these kiosks in seemingly every grocery and pharmacy chain in the city. I'm a self-checkout guy. It's just easier. Self-checkout intimidates me. I find it kind of fun. Please select from popular items. It's faster usually than waiting in line for multiple people to check out. It's easier. Just don't have to deal with anyone. It's easier. I don't got to wait in line. I don't got to wait for people. A Kroger-funded study finds 40% of American grocery shoppers prefer self-checkout because of the relative privacy it offers, perhaps sparing them the judgment of others in line, watching them pay for an entire cart full of beer and junk food. Yeah, a lot of people definitely judge you when you're in line at the grocery store. They want to see what food you're eating, what, what you're drinking. That same Kroger study found 40% of respondents also admitted to adding healthful items to their cart or basket. And I buy a lot of fresh produce. To avoid checkout line scrutiny of everything else they're buying. Chocolate chip cookies. Tres leches cake. Probably craft mac and cheese out of the box. Maybe chocolates. Uh, I don't really care what people think. Maybe you buy something you don't want the checkout person to see. If I'm looking for medication or something like that, I don't really want someone to know exactly what I'm taking. And in that instance, it seems nearly half of us take our more private, personal, or shameful purchases to the self-checkout line. Thank you for using the fast lane. On the West Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.